Alright everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make this 3D top-down camera in the good old game engine for a strategy or tycoon type game. I can look around with my right mouse button, I can move with WASD or with my middle mouse button, and I can zoom in and out. Alright, to start we're going to create a new scene, add a spatial node, under that add another spatial node, and under that add a camera node. I'm going to rename the first spatial node Gimbal, and I'm going to rename the second one Inner Gimbal. Next, I'm going to set the camera's translation to 6 on the Y and 14 on the Z, and I'm going to set the X rotation to negative 15. In our Gimbal, we're going to create a new script. So first, we need to get our child node. So write on ready var camera equals dollar sign Inner Gimbal slash camera and on ready var inner gimbal equals dollar sign inner gimbal. Next, I'm going to export three variables, one called max zoom, which I'm going to set to 3.0, and min zoom, which I'm going to set to 0.5, and zoom speed, which I'm going to set to 0.08. After that, I'm going to create a variable called zoom and set that to 1.5. After that, I'm going to export four variables, speed, which I set to 0 0.3, drag speed, which I set to 0 0.005, acceleration, which I set to 0 0.08, and mouse sensitivity, which I set to 0 0.005. Next, I'm going to create a vector 3 variable called move. Next, I want to go into project, project settings, and input map, and I want to define these inputs. First, we want to define an input called rotate underscore cam, which we set to device zero right button. Then we define zoom in and zoom out, which we set to device zero wheel up and device zero wheel down. Next, we define four actions called move forward, move left, move right, and move backward, and we set that to WADS. Finally, we have an input called move underscore cam, and we set that to device zero middle button. What input map does is it allows the code to act on the different inputs. Next, we'll define our underscore input function. Next, we'll say if input dot is action pressed, rotate cam. Inside of that, we'll say if event is input event mouse motion. Then we'll say if event dot relative dot x does not equal zero. Then we want to rotate object local vector three dot up. And then we input negative event dot relative dot x multiplied by mouse sensitivity. After that, we'll put if event dot relative dot y does not equal zero. Then var y underscore rotation equals clamp. And inside of clamp, we'll put negative event dot relative dot y, negative 30, and 30. Next, we'll say inner gimbal dot rotate object local vector 3 dot right, comma, y rotation multiplied by mouse sensitivity. What this does is basically rotates the first gimbal on the x axis and rotate the inner gimbal on the y-axis. If we did not do this, we could get a weird case like this, where the camera is now sideways. After that input, we'll say if input dot is action pressed, move underscore cam. Once again, we'll say if event is input event mouse motion, then move dot x minus equals event dot relative dot x multiplied by drag speed, and move dot z minus equals event dot relative dot y multiplied by drag speed. Finally, we'll say if event dot is action pressed, zoom in, zoom minus equals zoom underscore speed, and if event dot is action pressed, zoom out, zoom plus equals zoom speed. Finally, we'll want to limit the zoom so you can't infinitely zoom in or infinitely zoom out. So we'll write zoom equals clamp, zoom, min zoom, and max zoom. In our process function, we'll write scale equals slurp scale, comma, vector 3.1 multiplied by zoom, comma, zoom speed. Also, we'll need to clamp the rotation so you can't look under the map. We'll write inner gimbal dot rotation dot x equals clamp inner gimbal dot rotation dot x comma negative 1.1 comma 0.3 next we'll define a function called move underscore cam and we'll take in delta next we're going to write this piece of code here which basically takes in our inputs and sets the move as a velocity and if we're not pressing either of the inputs it'll lerp to zero it gives us our velocity but we need to actually do something with it so we need to write translation plus equals move dot rotated vector three zero one zero comma self dot rotation dot y and we multiply that by zoom finally to clamp the movement we'll write translation dot x equals clamp translation dot x comma negative 20 comma 20 
and the same thing for translation.c. Finally, in our process function, we need to write move underscore cam, and we put in delta. In our main scene, I'm going to click this button to instance our camera controller. And just like that, you have your own 3D top-down camera controller in Godot. Please make sure to like and subscribe so I can continue to make more Godot tutorials.